Roaster by Simon Rochford He swears on his mother's grave, but then again, he swears on just about everything. Boxer is always in character. Many of his peers that exist along the pub counter would agree. Portraying the appearance of a well-admired person, he oozes confidence and self-esteem. I can see the lining of his fine tailored mask. When he gets nervous or fearful, he swears. Deep insecurities lead to extravagant swearing. I continually look upon his nightly performances with great interest. Not for the content or climax in his stories. I indulge myself in his mannerisms. While the onlookers change on occasion, his body language and shallow eyes never do. I can read all his telltale signs. Boxer, unbeknownst to him, educates me. A lawyer needs a good memory. He is abundant in the former, but lacking in the latter. Tonight, for my own amusement, I inject a correction in his proclamation. In return, he barks, Stick me on a roaster, you little bollocks. Contently smiling, I do as he asks. While he gorges on the adoration of his audience, I become invisible. Tinkering under the low mounted beer taps, I gently use the hidden slop of stale alcohol from the overflow tray, formulating a tasty pint of stout. While it settles, I visit the toilets. On my return, I casually finish off his ebony nectar. In view of his unseeing eye, I slowly rim the glass lip with my calm fingers. Upon presenting the roaster, he throws his money across the counter towards me, as if I were a beggar. Projecting a modest smile, I thank him. Without a glance of gratitude, he continues to spout out words to the punters. Casually, I wait with tremendous glee for him to wet his whistle.